Hi, I'm Terry Masashi. We're here in the finishing shop today and we're going to be polishing out this beautiful waterfall bubinga board. And the finish on here has been laid up and it is not polished out yet. You can see that it's incredibly glossy but after we polish it out with the various abrasives and the liquid polishes, it's going to look like a pool of water. It's gonna look like glass. So if you're planning on doing a surface like this, the actual preparation is quite complicated. This is a, an open grain wood, so it had to be grain filled and then sealed and then multiple coats of a lacquer were, were sprayed on this board and then you set it aside for at least a month to cure because if you don't wait it long enough the finish is too soft to polish out it's like polishing jello it just doesn't work so this board has been laid up and set aside for a, at least a month if not more and we're now ready to start polishing and the very first process is flattening this finish. And we're going to use this thousand grit film disc with a lubricant. And my favorite lubricant is mineral spirits and mineral oil, 50-50. And this can all be done with a random orbit sander. So let me show you our first, very first step in acquiring what is known as a piano finish or a high gloss finish. Now if you've never done wet sanding, it's a really good idea to stop and check your progress. The last thing you want to do is burn through the finish. So immediately, after just a few minutes, just to get the hang of it, dry off all that slurry and start taking a look. These dull areas is where the finish has actually been sanded down, and it's dull. And your clue to when it's enough is that when there are no shiny spots left, that means that everything has been flattened. We've got a long ways to go here. We've got all kinds of shiny areas all through here. So this whole board has to get flattened first with thousand grit. And this is what I'll be doing as the initial step. And then after that, we'll go into 1500 grit and then 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and then into the liquid compounds. So you can see that it's a very time-consuming effort, but the work is more than worth the rewards because this is going to be an incredible piece. Begin sanding and keep the machine moving. Do not bear down on the sander. Let it float and keep the surface wet at all times. The initial flattening with 1000 grit on such a large surface will take one to two hours. Wipe the slurry off with a clean soft rag and check your work frequently. When complete, the surface will be visibly dull. Now the abrasive can be switched up to 1500 grit and the process of wet sanding repeated. The only visible difference between the previous appearance of the 1000 grit and the current 1500 grit is a more consistent dullness. The process of flattening is completed with the 1500 grit and we move on to the initial first step in polishing with the 2000 grit cushioned abrasive pad. 
use this pad with the same lubricant. By the way, stopping at 2000 achieves an incredible satin finish, but we are going for a high gloss sheen. Wipe off all of the 2000 grit slurry and switch to the 3000 grit abrasive pad. You will notice that with the 3000, the surface is becoming more and more glossy. Wipe off all of the 3000 grit slurry and progress to the 4000 grit pad. All of this is still being done with the same lubricant. Dry off the 4000 grit slurry. Examine the surface and look for any areas that might have an inconsistent sheen. Resand with the 4000 if there are any problem spots. The liquid polishing begins with a red foam pad, G2 intensive polish and swirl remover, and a 6 inch random orbit sander. Wear an apron and protect the surrounding area from compound that will be slinging from the pad. Spritz the foam pad with water and then apply the intensive polish. Move it around with the sander off. Then turn the sander on and move slowly across the surface. Traverse an area that is pr approximately two by two until the compound starts to dry. Continue for another pass or two, and then polish off with a clean rag. Move on to the next area until the entire surface is completed. Continue the polishing with the G2 Final Gloss and a black foam pad. Polish in the same manner as the previous liquid. Dry off with clean, dry rags. Examine the surface for any swirl marks. Chase these swirls by hand with a small amount of final gloss on a rag and polish them out. Now, stand back and look at yourself in this high gloss mirror of stunning waterfall bubinga.